So here we are at the launch of National Theatre Wales Year 3. We've got an amazing year of activity ahead of us. The big theme this year is to dig deeper and reach further than ever before. And we're basing the year around four pillars in a way, four residencies that we're doing in very different places. Each one is anchored by an amazing piece of new theatre and each one involves a whole range of other activity with an amazing variety of people. So we start off here in Butte Town, where we are today, and in Butte Town we're creating a piece called Dugabe, which is about the real stories of Somali people, both in Cardiff and beyond in Somalia as well. It's made primarily by a bunch of young poets who came to us with the idea that they wanted to tell the world they were poets, not pirates. But we're turning it into a beautiful site-specific piece right through the streets of Cardiff, taking place in people's living rooms, in the secret spaces of the city, but also out in the public, and ending in the bay with a beautiful big event. Also, while we're in Butte Town, we'll be hosting loads of different artists, both in this space and throughout the area. Our Wales Lab program is developing work by five new artists from, Great, from Grangetown, Riverside, and Butte Town, making work about everything from boxing, to um, the history of the very first people to come into Cardiff's Tiger Bay. The second one of our residencies is in an amazing place, it's in Tokyo. And we're going to be creating a new play by Alan Harris out in Tokyo. It's going to premiere in Japanese. It's called The Opportunity of Efficiency and it's about an efficiency expert. And while we're out there in Tokyo, we're also going to be putting on one of our National Theatre Wales assemblies where we look at local issues through debate and performance. Lots else going on there as well. We're looking for artists to bring back to Wales, to take part in Wales Lab, and loads of activity with the artists and people of Tokyo. Our next big residency is in Triorki in the autumn. And in Triorki, we're actually going to take over the whole of the Park and Dare Institute. It's a beautiful old miners' institute that was built 100 years ago, celebrating its 100th anniversary this year. It's going to be anchored by a performance of a new play by one of the great writers coming out of the valleys, Rachel Chisais, who's written a piece called Ton of Pandemonium, which is a really hard-hitting but hilarious new play. And around that, we're going to be hosting local bands in the space, working with the Wales Music Foundation. And we're also going to have a festival of new writing called Dirty, Gifted and Welsh, working with the Dirty Protest Group to profile all the amazing new writers that are coming out of Wales at the moment and really get a sense of that new writing buzz. As well as those extraordinary residencies, we've got um, two big projects coming up. And I'll tell you about those in a moment. But I want to tell you first about something we're doing in the summer. We're going up to Anglesey. At Anglesey, we're going to be creating a new piece with Hoi Polloi Theatre Company and a character, Hugh Hughes, who's the world's most famous emerging artist, and he's from Anglesey. As well as creating a new show by him, we'll be having a summer camp for emerging artists, and we'll also be having a DIY festival where anyone can turn up and show their work. So book your place in Anglesey for next June. And those other two big shows, well, one of them's with one of Wales' most famous artists and musicians, Griff Rees, who many will know from the Super Furry Animals. He's working with his other outfit, Neon Neon, to create a piece about an uh, Italian communist millionaire publisher called Gian Giacomo Falcinelli, who knew everyone from Che Guevara to Fidel Castro and created quite a stir in the 20th century. And it's going to be a full-scale musical production, more like a gig than a theatre piece and it's going to be created with director Wills Wilson and writer Tim Price. And then finally we end out the year in Cardiff Castle where we've created a new piece, we're going to create a new piece made out of the fairy tales that Terry Jones from Monty Python wrote. And that piece is going to be called Silly Kings, it's going to take over the whole of Cardiff Castle and we're describing it as a piece for children, families and very silly adults. So that's our year three at National Theatre Wales.